Hi, welcome to educators.com. I'm Shravanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about hive optimization technique. In the previous modules, we discussed a lot of uh, uh, concepts like partitioning, bucketing, and file formats, and a lot of other things. So now, we are going to see how they are all are available to improve the performance of your high queries. So under that, if you see these techniques, the first one is the multi-table inserts, and partitioning the high tables, bucketing the high tables, using the ORC file formats, using the test engines and using the vectorization. So these are the some of the techniques which we can use to improve the performance of your high queries. So if we look into the each and everything, in the previous modules we discussed about inserting the multi-table inserts in the high. That means if you wanted to load the data into the multiple tables, suppose uh, an employee table is there and so by reading that millions of records in that employee table, you wanted to load the data into the separate tables like a less salary and the more salary are the two tables and I wanted to load the data whoever is getting less than 1000 or less greater than 1000, I wanted to load that into the two different tables based on some specific condition. If you wanted to write these queries, you have to write a separate queries. But here, if you write a separate query, Unnecessarily, it has to go through these, uh, uh, you know, go through with this each and every record, the million records into the employee table, whatever the big table is there. But here, with the help of the multi table inserts, it improves the performance because you will be going to read the table only once. And then you will be loading that into the different tables. Like, I do have a less salary, I do have a more salary, and if I have any number of the table, by reading the, my actual table once, and I can load the data into the multiple tables. That improves the performance by avoiding reading the multiple times uh, by reading the uh, bigger tables. And another technique is the partitioning the hive table. As we discussed in our partitioning, hive partitioning, here this partitioning is very powerful, especially if every time you are executing a query on a particular column. So here instead of reading this entire table scan, what it does is, if you are writing a query some where country is equal to US for example, so in that instead of reading the entire table scan, it simply go through that particular partition. Partition is nothing but a subfolder just created internally. Just go there and it just reads it directly. That is how it improves the performance with the help of the partitioning. You can have the partitioning and the any, any of the column, but you have to choose it carefully, like which column is frequently used and which column I can put a partitioning on. So that improves the performance by avoiding the full table scans and going and reading that uh, uh, the subfolders immediately. And when you see the bucketing the height tables, that also improves the performance because when suppose a column is there, our ID, which is a unique ID, for example, if I put a partition on top of that column, it is going to take a lot of small partitions. That decreases the performance because it is always a bad practice to have a very small partition. But if it is a unique ID, automatically uh, each and every record is going to have a small partition. So we can't put a partition here. So the other thing is I can put a bucket in and you can have a fixed number of buckets and suppose if I create a 10 buckets, whatever the columns, whatever I'm having it, all the these uh, IDs will be going into that and fixing in that particular 10 buckets itself. And especially we'll be using the bucketings whenever you are using the joins. If you wanted to join the multiple tables, to join them you must require an ID the foreign keys and so on top of this join ID if you create the bucketing it drastically improves the performance. And here 
The other way to improve the performance is by using the ORC file format, that is an optimized row columnary format. What it has is Uh, this optimized row column in format, uh, whenever you use that, it improves the performance because internally it uses the compression, then it is other it is having the some other techniques as well. And by default, if you don't define anything, it will use that storage format as a text file. This text file takes a lot of time to do education, but if you use this optimized row column in format, then it highly improves the performance. And here, if you wanted to define that, whenever you are creating the table, at the end you can, after creating the table and entering the row format delimited, how fields are terminated, then instead of store as a text file, you can give here the store as a ORC. That means it is creating the file format as a ORC. In case if you wanted to specify any of the table pro uh, properties, like any of the compression techniques, like a uh, LZO, ZZ, Snappy Codec, and you can even mention that compression technique as well as part of the PD property. So even if you execute the same query with the ORC, you can see how it is improving the performance with the help of these ORC file formats. And the other one is using the phase engines. That is by default it uses the MapReduce engine. But with the help of the latest Apache phase engine, it improves the hive execution performance. So by simply if any of these things in the hive shell or any of the properties file, you can set the hive execution engine to test. That will improve the performance. Because internally it uses the another parallel processing techniques and in memory techniques, uh, especially this phase engine uses when you compare with the map reduce. And there is another thing is the vectorization. That means if you don't use the vectorization by default, it drinks a single row every time. To pro it processes a single row every time. But with the help of the vectorization, if you enable that, it increases the performance by taking these uh, records as a groups. Like it takes at a time of 1, 0, 2, 4 records at a time. So it obviously improves the performance by instead of executing a single row, it executes the group wise like a 1, 0, 2, 4 rows at a time. To enable the vectorization, we can set these properties like high vectorized execution enable and also high vectorized execution reuse enable. These properties you can set it up and you can execute your query and you can see the performance increments. And we do have another uh, lot of ways and uh, writing a good SQL query is also another thing. And also you can uh, uh, do a parallelism like by default a map reduce uh, whenever you execute a high query. Whenever you are having a map ready job, it executes sequentially. But even you can change that the, to a parallel caressing as well. So there are another techniques as well to you know include the high optimization techniques, and these are the these are highly used and some of them. The mainly summary improve the performance. Your especially you can really use this partitionings and the bucketings and the specific columns. And you can use appropriate file formats like a ORC file format to improve the performance. And also, you can use the stairs engines and the vectorizations. You can enable them to improve the performance of your high query. And also, write the good SQLs that also improves the performance. Thank you. Let's catch up in the next module.